So for this hunt, the winds were 15, 20 miles an hour out of the north. Those strong winds, we decided to set up on the very north end of this pond, out of the wind, in a low spot. It was shallow water. We got up against a cut part of the bank where it was steep. We had mud flats to work with for all our decoys. We grassed the blinds with the surrounding grass to try to blend in with that bank. And then we actually cut some brush and other grass to put in between each shooter so that we would actually have shooting holes and close up that gap that was on top of those A-frames. So I've noticed on these hunts that when the geese get over the top of the A-frames, they're getting a little nervous about the A-frames. So we try to close in that big dark black hole and create instead just little shooting holes for each guy. It seemed to work pretty well because the geese, as you can tell in this video, finished 10 to 15 yards in front of us. <laughs> Yeah, boys. We just had a group come in and do it close. Got six out of there. What do you think, Kevin? I like it. I like it. Austin's our good All luck right. charm. We just had six oh yeah. He's here bang, today. bang, and boom, boom. boom. <laughs> what do you think, bang, Chris? Boom. Put the bang, bang, and the boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. You ready? Get up! Bang, bang on the Good girl, drop. Heel. Sit. Back. Dan Bradley, what do you think of the action today? Lots of action. Lots of impaction. Those birds fly high, but that seal flies higher, baby. Let's get them, boys. 